Hey, we are here with Lindsay and we're showing you today about how to deadlift correctly using the hip hinge idea. Um, and this is for people also with back pain or disc injuries and Lindsay's got a back injury with a disc bulge and we're trying to get her back into not heavy deadlifting but going through the deadlifting technique. So she's going to kindly show us today what she does in deadlift and I'm going to show you what she is doing right and doing wrong. So for a start, what most people with um, back injuries like to do is they don't like holding neutral because they're not sure about um, where that is. So they tend to lock themselves into extension. So Lindsay likes going into a bit of extension so they have a bit of a curve in their back. Now the biggest misconception is that, oh, you've got to have this nice curve in your back, but this is too excessive. Now, what she does do correctly though is hinge at the hips. So if you just go through a bit of a deadlift. So she's bending here, which is correct, okay, but she's got too much curve here. And the hardest thing to get right is finding neutral spine. So if you just lift it up, she needs to be sort of there, okay? Now when she comes up, what she'll find is it's hard to actually keep that neutral spine from going from here into a hip hinge and then coming back up again. So and what we've got to get her used to is actually coming into a neutral to start with and then as she goes into hip and she sits her bum backwards and she drops down. Okay, so it's not a squat. So what she can't do is let her knees come forward, all right? So a normal deadlift, or like a Romanian hamstring deadlift, she can't let her knees come forward. So she has to sit her hips backwards and they don't drop down hardly, all right? So her pelvis just goes straight backwards and that means she's doing hip flexion and no back flexion. And then all she has to concentrate on at that point there is keeping that nice neutral positioning in the back. So her lumbar curve is the same all the way through. It doesn't go and extend or get bigger as she goes backwards. So if you do it wrongly again, okay, so as she goes backwards, if she increases the curve, that's, you know, okay for discs in a way, but it's not very good for the muscles in your lower back, and it definitely doesn't keep um, a central neutral spine core, which means her abdominals in the front won't be on that well. If she goes into extension, she won't be able to keep her core in the front as tight as she possibly can, therefore she won't have the strength to support the disc load and any loading she's doing. Now, with Lindsay, we don't want, and any disc problems, we don't want heavy loading, but we have to teach deadlifting again, because if they are going to go back and do some sort of lifting in the gym, they have to do it correctly. But also just picking things up, like picking children out of a cot or groceries or anything out of a car, you have to go through a hip hinge, otherwise you'll round and then re-injure yourself. So it's actually quite important that she does do this in the gym and she does learn this with a little bit of load to help strengthen her spine so when she's lifting every day she doesn't re-injure herself. So in this position again she's got to go okay neutral. Now don't fall into the trap of tucking your bum under and going to flexion. Okay it's neutral not hyper extension and then as that bar goes down her bum goes straight backwards so she is in this very shallow curve here and then as she comes up she's got to thrust her hips forward and so when she gets to the top she doesn't have to overextend and she definitely doesn't want to tuck her bum under at the top either. So this is where neutral spines the whole way through, so neutral there, pivot back of the hips, keeping weight through the heels and the toes and then making sure those hips come forward and always getting visual about my pivot point is my hip joint, not my back. So I don't want my back tilting anteriorly or posteriorly as you go. So try again for me, Lindsay. There she goes. You can see that neutral spine there. There she comes up. Perfect. And your buttocks should be on at the top, okay? You don't want to try and then squeeze them at the top. They should be on all the way through. That's great.